Birds migrate, particularly small land birds, like robins that you have in your backyard, uh, they don't just fly in one large flight from their breeding ground to the wintering ground. They fly in sort of hops or steps along the way and they'll fly at night for many hours and then they'll land during the day to rest and refuel and that's what we call stopover. So there's places that they stop along their migration journey. They play an important role for these birds because the birds also can't fuel their whole migratory journey from one place. So they have to stop periodically to build up these fat reserves that serve as the fuel for flight to make these long migrations. Ever since the advent of radar in the early 1940s, we've known that birds appear on radar and can be detected on radar. In recent years, NOAA has realized that there is this uh, second user group of the weather radar data, which is really biologists. They're interested in extracting all the biological information that's in those data about animals in the airspace. It's really opened up the possibilities to explore all sorts of questions. Radar is one of the most important research tools that we have because it's really hard to detect animals in the air, certainly from the ground, and also because there are a lot of animals that are active at night when it's hard to see them. Many of these birds, you know, they've been migrating for thousands of years, and within the last hundred years or so, humans have started lighting up the skies. So birds have only really been recently exposed to all of this artificial light at night from an evolutionary sense. What's nice about the broad scale picture that the radar can provide is that we're starting to see these patterns of broad scale attraction of birds to brightly lit urban areas. If birds are being drawn to these brightly lit areas where there isn't a whole lot of natural habitat for them, it's pulling them away from those darker landscapes where there is more habitat. And we're concerned that that might have negative consequences for migratory birds. It seems that birds are able to refuel in these urban areas, but they don't have very much food for these birds. In fact, probably the, the first migrants that come through will deplete those resources pretty quickly. And so those later migrants might be at a real disadvantage to finding food when they stop over in these urban parks.